start. Two, one, booster ignition, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. I'm your biggest fan. Welcome back to our channel, gang. I hope that, that made y'all laugh a little bit. And I gotta start off by saying Captain Hoshina in that number 10 suit look crazy. That is my favorite character in the series. And just seeing how ominous he looks in the back of him got me excited for next week. And this week, seeing Kikoru in action for the first time with the numbered weapon 4 suit was awesome. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but those are going to be the two main things that we talk about this week, as well as I need to go ahead and take these glasses off because I kind of look like that slug lady off of Monsters, Inc. when I wear those. But let's go ahead and get into this chapter review. Now the first thing that we are going to talk about is Kikoru finally deploying with the number 4 suit. This has been an awesome process to see. From her getting launched, to her being inside of the pod and getting released and the wings coming off of her suit, to just seeing her in action. There's been so many cool things to see with her finally deploying with this force suit. And on top of that, we keep on getting more information about the force suit. We've learned multiple chapters ago that this is the first time that anybody has used this suit since Hikari, Hikoru's mother. And one thing that Matsumoto is doing a great job at is just building the legacy slash legend of Hikari. We already know how awesome of a soldier she was, but we keep on learning more and more things about her as the story goes on. And in this chapter, we actually learn that Hikari had a much higher kaiju kill count than any captain that actually preceded her. And what this shows me is that Hikari had absolutely no weaknesses when it came to fighting kaiju. We learned throughout this manga that people like Mina and Hoshina are great complements to each other because Hoshina is somebody that is much better at fighting smaller kaiju because he uses blades so it's awesome for his close quarters fighting style while Mina is a marksman specialist so she's great at fighting big kaiju from distances and these two together complement each other great to work for the third division while somebody like Hikari as a captain could probably do a lot of these things on her own because she just had that much in her offensive arsenal. And this is wild to see. I'm starting to think honestly that had her life not been cut short, Hikari might have been known as the strongest soldier in the Defense Force history. I know you might not agree, but I'm really starting to believe that. But getting back to Kikoru, it was cool to see this process. We saw her finally get 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 launched off. And then after she gets launched off, she actually gets released from this pod. Once she's released from the pod, finally we see the wings disperse from her back. And she just takes off toward the battlefield of the Diet building. Now, what we also learned about Kikoro in this number four suit is that the number four suit is the fastest of the numbered weapons. And it was very easy to see that whenever we saw those like sonic booms coming out of Kikoro as she was flying towards the National Diet Building. And whenever she pulled up to the National Diet Building, dog, she pulled up in Kikoru Manor. Because every single time that she pulls up on these kaiju, I need to put this up on the screen. She's disrespecting these kaiju at this point, man. There is almost not a time when Kikoru doesn't pull up and just completely demolish one kaiju in front of all of their friends. If that's me, bro, and Kikoru's disrespecting me in front of my friends, I'm fighting, bro. I'm fighting. But nonetheless, I just love the way that Kikoru always pulls up on the battle scene and gets right into it. And the best part about Kikoru pulling up was right as soon as she got to the battlefield and took out the first kaiju, Narumi just kind of paged over to her and said, ah, so you finally arrived. He's like, my dumb pupil, you have 10 minutes to clear out this area. And Kikoru said, haha, baka sensei. I only need five to do it. And that just had me lit, bro. That was a very dope moment in this chapter. And it's also a dynamic that I love. Ever since these two have first met up, they've always kind of had this serious yet playful relationship. I even recall way back to whenever they first met in the room, he looked at Kikoru and said, hey, I don't need this and I don't need that. I need results. And that is something that he always makes Kikoru do. I think that Narumi is one of the few people that holds Kikoru to a high standard. So many people just expect Kikoru to be strong because of who her parents are, Hikari and Isa. But Narumi is the one person that I don't care about none of that. I don't care what you have to say. I just want results. 
And this is a dynamic that is going to keep bringing out the best in each other whenever it comes to them. We have two young people in the defense force that are both striving to be their best. And what better to bring out your best in competition? So these two competing with each other in that way is something that I love. And right after that happened, Kikoro went on to take out three Hanju in the area, and things basically started turning in our favor in the diet or in the national diet building area on that one battleground front. And then we turn our view onto the Shofu Airport, one of our other three battlegrounds. Here, Mina says, I've got things under control here. And we finally see the most hype but ending moment of kaiju number eight chapter 72 and that is vice captain hoshina standing in a weaponized number 10 suit and i got chills seeing this panel y'all hoshina is my favorite person in the series so just seeing how ominous he looked seeing him from the backside and just having that like tail come off of him and wearing that fully weaponized armor it looked awesome bro and i can't wait until next chapter to finally see what hoshina fully looks like in this suit and on top of that, we keep on talking about this on this channel. What is his suit going to be like? Vice Captain Hoshina's suit is going to be very different than anybody else on the Defense Force because we do know that his suit is going to have a will of its own uh, in some form or it's going to be a little bit different than everybody else's suit is more or less what we know. So what is that going to end up being like for Hoshina? Is it going to end up being something that he's going to struggle with because it does have a will of its own? Or will Hoshina be able to easily subdue that by himself? Who knows? But one thing that I really want to applaud Matsumoto on when it comes to these numbered weapon suits is that none of them look alike. And on top of that, none of them really act alike either. And I really, really have been appreciating that as more or more so as like this manga has been progressing, right? Really, the number 10 suit is very different from Narumi's number one suit in appearance and in what they can probably do, as well as Reno's number six suit, you know what I mean? As well as Kikoru's number four suit. They're all so different in their abilities and in appearance. So I really got to take my hat off to Matsumoto for that. It's something that I'm sure that many people wouldn't have to spend that much time on trying to figure out how to make them very different. But he's really taking his time to do these intricate things for us. So this chapter was short, dog. And I'm really excited to see Hoshina next week or two weeks from now. But you know what it is. I'm also probably going to be dropping a Hoshina character analysis video coming up here soon. So let me know in the comments if there's anything specifically that you want to see in that video. Slash, let me know in the comments if there's what you thought about this chapter and what kaiju topics you want me to talk about. Um, I'll probably start dropping a little bit more kaiju content too. Just kind of start looking into some characters. I feel like there's a lot of plot points that we could talk about, but I want to start taking a deeper look into some of our favorite characters in the series. So we're going to start off with my boy, my favorite, Vice Captain Hoshina, and then we'll kind of see where we go from there. But arigato for watching this video, and let me hit you with that note real quick. <clears throat> Peace. Hey, Hunter Hunter's back on the Viz app, boys.